Good morning, folks. We've got a look at space weather, the cold snap invading the states, a weird mission from NASA, well, the name of it anyway, and we'll wrap up with lightning and the implications looking ahead. We are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and the corona hole is beginning to depart. The bulk of its faster solar wind stream is expected today. We had no significant solar flares or filament releases. Very lucky to have such a large complex of filaments remain stable there surrounding the coronal hole. While we await the faster streams, the leading density and magnetic region is already impacting. Geomagnetic conditions are unstable as the solar wind stream begins changing the geospace environment. We'll be watching that today. Folks, the west is cold. We got our first snow here in Colorado Springs and it was a very solid dusting. The cold snap hitting the west is due to combined effects of the jet stream dip over this region, allowing cooler arctic air to descend to mid-latitudes, and the polar vortex funneling that cooler air across the total atmosphere column. When they line up like this, you get the rapid cooldowns like what just took my city from the high 70s a couple days ago to the 20s in snow overnight. Folks, NASA is constantly working on technological stuff like this, and usually it's not in our wheelhouse to cover those, but look at the name of this mission. Come on. True, it's not the exact spelling or pronunciation, but why? Why name your mission this? Anyway, folks who have been here a while know that while we have covered a lot about lightning, in fact, the dozens of studies on solar control of lightning are a key portion of our previous book, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, it's always nice to take more steps forward. We take that skip ahead today as the impact of the sun is confirmed to have significant modulation power over lightning strikes. This not only is important for weather and climate models, especially since that connection is not included in those models at this time, but because the mechanism that allows those correlations to be so reliably demonstrated year after year are amplifying as Earth's magnetic field weakens and more of the energetic particles from enhanced solar wind penetrate down into the atmosphere, important for solar forcing of the atmosphere, and also important for what to expect as the ongoing geomagnetic excursion marches on. Don't forget the next Observer event is November 18th. Come out to Observer Ranch. Rocky and the Big Burb EMP-proof disaster vehicle will be there as well. Tickets at the link below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.